and welcome back to the Paul Dalton Details channel. This week we are talking cheap wet and dry vac machines. I've been sent down two machines from the wet and dry vac company. These are the shop vac range. I've got a large 1400 watt machine and a smaller rechargeable one. I've been using these for around about a month and a half and just playing around with them in the cars and domestically indoors as well. Using them on the sofa, using them on the carpet and uh, I'm going to share my thoughts this week. Anyway, meanwhile, uh, top tip for you, factor 30 or factor 50, because for some unknown reason, I think we've been hit by an asteroid because there's a big burning ball of gas in the sky and I still don't know what it is. So just put your comments down because I haven't got a clue. Anyway, pour yourself something rather large and strong and cold and uh, roll the video. So here we go then. This is the Hawkeye, the first machine we're going to be showing you. A bit of a demo. It's got the... Uh, Vac wrap around it. If you haven't seen that video, go and check that out. That will stop you damaging your bodywork. Fishtail attachment fitted to start with. Crevice tool sits at the back so you don't lose it. To get access to the filter and to swap it over from dry to wet, vice versa. Just push those red buttons in and you're good to go. That's the main filter. You need that disc at the bottom. You can refit it when you do the wet stuff. Yes, it fits in there, Paul. Very clever. All good to go. Crevice tool, slightly wider than a Henry one. Before we even start doing that, we've got the Analan pet hair brush. If you haven't seen that video, shameful link up above. Not particularly cake, but worth doing nevertheless. You can, of course, use a brush, a pet hair brush, or you can use sticky tape if you really want. So I have to say, this carpet is not nice to vacuum not nice at all on the Skoda the Metro on other vehicles seems to be very easy I'm not trying to get out of it at all but this was awful there is a little bit of a handy tip I'll show you in a minute now talking of tips that is the crevice tool slightly wider than a Henry one it has a reducer fits into the pipe it's clearly marked do not worry and we're going to swap it over and put the fish tail on it just slots into place. Doesn't come loose, that is it. Yes, I think we've seen that, Paul. Just move along. As I said, this carpet's not great. And I tried the drill brush next to release some of those nasty bits of debris, as you can see, flying around in my face. Mmm, lovely. You can, of course, pre-spray your carpets if you want to. That bonds onto the dirt and debris and makes it just a bit easier to suck up. So what's it like to start with? Well, apart from my horrendous vacuuming action, and the lines just being haphazard, it's pretty good. It's got a fair amount of suck. Mmm. Don't get that, yeah, all right, don't go down that rubber hole. Don't get that near your midriff section. It'll disappear before your very eyes. So if you wanna put fancy lines in, write your name, go ahead. So that was the boot part. Came up pretty good considering the state of it. Moving on to the front of the vehicle, got a bit of debris in the front. So it's got a blow function, undo the cap, simply put the hose in the rear of it and you're good to blow. Sucking and blowing all in one video, horrendous. So fit the crevice tool in if you want to go down the sides, these are really handy actually if you want to go underneath the seats and blow out sweet wrappers and bits and pieces, nothing worse than vacuum a foot well out and then you get a lot of crisp packets that suddenly appear. Hmm. Toenail clippings, lovely. Reminds me, I must get some port scratchings for the weekend. So you can pre-spray this very lightly with a carpet solution or I've been using Garage Therapy's interior spray. And it's just helped bond to the crud. It makes it a bit easier to pull out. I didn't bother changing it to the wet feature just yet. Didn't cause any issues with the bag. As you can see, they are pretty awful. There's sand and all sorts in these carpets. I'm not gonna lie, they're not the best. Don't expect perfection from this. They are dreadful. 
So when it comes to swapping out the dry part and moving on to the wet stuff, unscrew the hose and behind that card plate there is a plastic part. Do not lose it. It's a debris deflector. Any rocks, hard stuff, that's, that's the bit. You need that because it protects the filter as well. It's just a deflector. If anything goes down that hose and smacks into the bag, it will punch the bag. Or in this case, it will damage the sponge filter. Now, I will mention that the filter I'm applying to this machine is not in the kit when you get the actual machine. You have to buy this separately. It's important that. All the bags and bits and pieces are available via the website. Reattach your hose and you're good to go. So I pre-sprayed this passenger side with carpet solution around about eight to one. I will give you a tip, do not make it too strong. And that goes for any wet vac machine. All it will do is foam up inside the machine and start spewing it out the back of the exhaust boards. And your wife won't thank you if you do the stairs and make it too strong. Not that I've done that at all. So it's got fairly good oomph, enough to suck out the moisture. Don't oversaturate these seats. Now I have put down enough to get rid of those stains. It's quite difficult to see the stains with the sun coming through. I think that's what they call the sun, I'm not too sure. Could have just been a giant spotlight. I'm still getting used to it. I live in Britain. It's always good to do this on a sunny day or aid in the drying as well. That was the finished result from that. So it's just a demo, remember? When it comes to the trunk liner, trunk if you live in America, uh, boot to everyone else. I was amazed at this. I saturated this liner because it was filthy and smelled of dog. And it pulled this out really, really effectively. It sucked it up super quick. This drinks almost, I have to say almost, as fast as my wife. Only almost though. To be honest, if that was gin, my wife would probably beat it. It's pretty impressive, isn't it? For a budget wet and dry vac. Stay to the end of the video and I'll talk about the prices. So when it comes to returning the machine back to the dry vac scenario, that's a big word, make sure the machine is dry, make sure you replace that plastic inner when you put it in, and the cap back on the filter. Drop it in, click it, done. Replace the hose. And keep that safe, don't lose it. So that is the Hawkeye machine. Now onto its younger cousin, next door neighbor, friend. This is the micro machine. Yes, it's wall mountable. You get that in the kit and you get the tools with it. They even give you the screws and the plugs. I've got mine mounted right there at the front of the Pratt Cove. So you can charge it. When you're ready to use it, lift it off, and you're good to go. Yes, very clever. Stop sticking your thumb up. Tabs on the side, much the same as its bigger cousin. Lift it out, it's already got the filter on the bottom of the machine. And put your hand on the top, unscrew the hose. That's got a little bit of a deflector shield there to stop any crud puncturing the bag and lift it out. Hey presto, it's now a wet vac. Push your tabs down, voila. Wow, who on earth would spill water in their car? Now this is probably good for round about four or five minutes on full whack. It's only really meant for emergencies, spillages. Um, if your children decide to chuckle their crisps on the floor and have a massive 
paddy, shall we call it, you can then get rid of the crumbs. That's what was left with my carefully staged water spillage. Chuck it out, dry the machine, and then you can make it go back to being a dry vac. That is just a push fit. So now you can charge this on the wall as well. It's around the back of the machine, you've got a car function there, and of course you've got the battery sign. So if you're charging it in the car, flick the switch, and use the supply charger. They even supply you with a car charger and a wall charger. And that is it, ladies and gents. That is the demo. One more thing. Make sure you hang it back up. And also make sure you tidy your cables up. Boom. Now for all the talky stuff. Okay, so what do we think about the two machines from the ShopVac brand? Right, we're going to start with the pros. We're going to start with the good stuff first. Now, the, the pros are that it's, it's powerful. It's 1,400 watts. It's got plenty of oomph in it. It pulled the water stains out of the seats. And it's very good. It's efficient. It's manoeuvrable as well. It's got a nice wide uh, fishtail uh, attachment to it. Helps you cover the ground nice and quick. Now, when it comes to the fiddly areas, you are going to have to swap over to the crevice tool. You can use both, wet and dry work. When you get down the side of a gearbox tunnel, that's where the issue is. This is the only downside I have because it's quite a fat tube. I think it's like 36 mil diameter. The crevice tool is larger and the end is larger. So getting down the bottom where you have that seat rail, it can get a little bit tight. It's not the end of the world, you can swap it over and you can put a Henry one in. It's got like a reducer attachment to it and it's quite easy to fit. And also you've noticed I've got the dry, uh, dry, <laughs> wet and dry vacs on the mine. I've got the uh, vac wrap on the tube. Check out the video above your heads. Now, as far as downsides are concerned, this machine was kind of designed for factory and shop use. No kidding, shop vac. So it's not on wheels, but you can get them on wheels, different machines, but obviously, varying in price so just be aware you are going to have to pick it up maybe put it on a mat if you're working around a car it's not a deal breaker to be honest with you i didn't find any issue with it you can pick it up and put it in the back of the vehicle if you want it still moves about it's not particularly heavy it's also got the blow function on it as well which is quite handy with blowing out debris you know the odd crisp packet kids toys whatever lie underneath seats so it is a good bit of kit for the money. We're gonna talk about prices right at the end. So the only downside I can see is with the crevice tool, having to swap it over. It's a little niggle and it's not on wheels, but it's in budget, to be honest with you. For this type of machine, the amount of power it produces, it's easy to convertible to the dry vac uh, side of things. I like it, I've been using it for quite some time. I don't really use my pneumatic anymore. I actually use this. It's not something I just use for a video and just stick it on the shelf. I actually use it quite a lot and I've used it in the house as well. Don't ask me how many times I've cleaned our stair carpets because it does a blooming good job of it. Thanks to my son walking up down the stairs with his boots. Thanks for that. So it's a good machine. Now, when it comes to the smaller one, so when it comes to this machine, this is kind of really for emergencies. You're not gonna do a whole car with this. You know, it's something you put in your garage, you put it on charge, and then if you're going on holiday, if you're a camper owner, if you've got a VW camper, I can see you using one of these quite a bit. Spillages, crumbs, you name it, it's quick and easy. Uh, and the fact that it sucks up water very efficiently. I was quite surprised at this. It's not gonna be that great on upholstery, don't get me wrong, you know, you're not gonna start doing complete seats with one of these. Don't think, right, I'll just save a lot of cash and just go and start doing wet vacuum with one of these. It's mainly meant for emergencies and just sucking up those very cleverly placed bits of water in your car, which I have staged, not. <laughs> it did a good job of that, to be honest with you. I was quite surprised. Very easy to convert. It's got the filter already on it. If you wanna change it over to, to just make it a dry vac, do so, it's very, very quick. But if you're going on holiday, throw it in the back of the car. If you're at a car meet, you know, when you get out in a, in a field, you want your mats to look clean again, might be an idea to purchase one of these. Which brings me on to the prices. So price-wise, the Hawkeye comes in at £82.50 and the smaller rechargeable machine, the Micro, 
is $43.99 at the time of this video. Check out the link I doodle underneath this video. Check out all the Amazon affiliate links. Check out Into Detailing and all the other bits and pieces. And especially check out the podcast. You want to know where you can get it from? Hit the link tree link for all the discount codes. And that's where you can find the podcast. That's something we are doing more and more of. And we're really enjoying it. And thanks for the, all the massive feedback we've been getting back from people. It's been fantastic. Anyway, thanks to Carl and Mary for sending down these machines from the Wet and Dry Vac Company. You're probably going to see them more on future videos. Check out the website. Like, share and subscribe. And look after yourselves. Enjoy the weather while it lasts.